In this video, you're going to learn how to create a customer journey map in an online tool called Smaply. Let the show begin. Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to the Service Design Show. This show is all about helping you to build organizations that put people at the heart of their business. And one way to do it is by using customer journey maps to drive change and innovation. And if you've ever been in a customer journey mapping project, you know that it's really hard to actually use journey maps on a day-to-day -day basis. Usually you do a workshop with post-its, sticky notes, brown paper, stuff like that. And then after the workshop, it's really hard to continue iterating on the map. Well, there are tools out there to actually help you to do that. Uh, we've looked at some other tools in the uh, previous videos. And in this video, I want to show you how Smaply, the tool that we're going to discuss today, uh, can help you to build maps that you can actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. So this video isn't about how to create a custom journey map or what is a custom journey map. If you're interested in that, check out the videos over here because we explain that over there. This video is really about showing you how to use Smaply in the basic building blocks, blocks in Smaply to build a customer journey map. And we're going to do that in two videos. This first video is a walkthrough video of those basic elements. And in the second video, which you can find over here, um, we're going to sort of look at the more advanced features and give a wrap up on conclusion and give my uh, perspective on when I think Smaply might be the right tool for you. Smaply also offers uh, some advanced features like creating personas and stakeholder maps. We're not going to dig into that in this video. We're just going to look at customer journey mapping. Now on a final note, this video isn't sponsored by Smaply in any way. This is just purely my experience and opinion. I did reach out to Smaply to see uh, if they would be willing to offer some kind of a discount code uh, for you, the viewer, and they did. So if you reach out, uh, email Smaply using on, on this email address and say that you watch this video and want to start using the tool, they will offer you a one month uh, free account with all the features uh, that you have. The, the normal free account is limited in uh, some features, but they also have paid plans and you'll get access to those paid plans if you just email them over here and let them know that you've watched this video. So let's jump straight in. Uh, I'll share my screen with you and let's start creating a customer journey map in Smaply. So here we are, this is my Smaply dashboard. I'm already logged in and I've created a customer journey map over here. Uh, this is what we're going to try to recreate. Um, as always, we have a going to the zoo um, example. This is not intended to make a full fledged customer journey map. It's not about the actual journey, it's about using the tool, but I want to show you what we'll be creating. So uh, Smaply has projects and this is our project. And in this project, we have a persona, we don't have any stakeholder maps and we have one customer journey map. Uh, it's, it looks like this, super basic, uh, not a lot of information in here. Uh, we're going to try to recreate what we have over here. So let's do it. First of all, I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to walk you through this step by step. And we'll call this project going to the zoo. And as you'll see, uh, we don't have <clears throat> we don't have a customer journey map yet. So let's do that. Uh, and we'll call this just going to the zoo journey. They offer templates, of course, uh, you can use them, but we're not going to do this over here because we want to start from scratch. Let's create the journey. Now, the first thing you'll see is that uh, Smaply, uh, contrary to tools like Miro or Mural, offers you some kind of guidance. There are a lot of tips. Um, tool tips like this one or here that explain what you need to do. So uh, Smaply uh, tries to really aid and help you in creating a map. Now, it starts with stages uh, here up top, which is really good because that's one of the first things we want to do. We want to create four information lanes and stages is one of them. So let's 
create uh, three stages. And we'll use the most basic one, the before stage. And of course, we have the during stage. And guess what? We have the post, yeah, let's call it that, the after the zoo stage. Great, three stages. Now, the next thing I would like to add to this map is um, the customer activities. So what is it that the customer is actually going through? Now, we're sort of stuck. We cannot add any lanes, uh, information lanes right now. The first thing we need to do in Smaply is uh, create our persona. That's one of the requirements in using Smaply and using customer journey maps of Smaply. You need to have a persona, which might be a good thing or not, depending on your situation. But let's call this persona the un uh, assign a persona, create new one, un oh un patient dad. And we're going to pick an icon and we're picking icon. Well, this one looks familiar. Let's pick this one. A guy with glasses. So there we have it. We have our persona. And now we have uh, the journey map outline and we can start adding things. So the first thing we want to do is uh, buy tickets, of course, before we go to the zoo. As you'll see, I can immediately, uh, I have a text box and can start adding things. So buy tickets. As you'll see, this is the first step in my stage before. I want to create a next step. So what happens? We're going to uh, edit step, uh, drive to the zoo. There we go. And we have a third one, just for the sake of it, park the car. Now, as you see, we have three uh, customer activities uh, um, here in this lane, but they don't match with the stages up top this, because this is not during, this is not after. Luckily, Smaply makes it really easy to make your uh, cards, your, your lanes uh, bigger and smaller. Uh, so now in our before stage, we can see that we have three customer activities. Awesome. Next thing we want to do is we want to create another lane. We want to add more information. Now, when I click uh, add lane, uh, you'll see I have eight options in total to choose what kind of lane do I want. A text lane, storyboard, channels, emotional journey, dynamic arc, backstage, file lane, and a separator lane. There's uh, a lot of information what these lanes do and when you should use them. Um, we're going to add a storyboard lane because this one allows us to add images. So there we go. We're going to call this the storyboard. That's great. So let's say I've done some research and uh, I have some photos from research that I want to show in this step and buy tickets. Now you can upload your own photos over here. Uh, you can use photos from other images over here. Um, but they also have a library of photos uh, that you can use. Um, not photos, but actually uh, illustrations that Smaply has created, um, black and white ones, as you'll see over here, quite a lot. Uh, colors, mm, it's loading, and color illustrations. Uh, finally, they have integrated with a noun project, which is a pretty cool, um, icon library that has a lot of icons. So I can search for ticket and then I get a bunch of tickets. Uh, let's pick this one and it allows me to customize the foreground. So let's see uh, in the background as well, but I don't want to customize the background. Uh, let's leave it white. So I'll insert uh, an image over here. Of course, use your own images, uh, drive to the zoo. Let's see if I can find something of a car. Do ah. There it is, a car, crop and upload. Right, so uh, this way you can add research data to uh, these stages.
Now there are two more lanes that I'd like to create. I'd like to create a lane where I express the needs in this specific step and the emotional curve, the, the sort of iconic lane of a lot of customer journey maps. So let's start with um, needs. Well, the needs can be um, just the text lane and we'll call this, um, we'll call this customer needs. And let's say now park the car are needed. There is clear navigation. There we go. That's what I want in that stage. As you'll see, it's it's really easy. Uh, I can do some basic formatting. Um, I can make uh, can give it a different background color, or I can highlight uh, stuff. So you can add some visual hierarchy to your map, which is really nice. Now, the final lane, the fourth lane that I want to create is the emotional curve. And they have a lane called emotional journey and a dramatic arc. You can read the details, what's the difference over here. But in my case, I want to use an emotional journey. So emotional journey for uh, the impatient dad. Uh, there we go. Um, and we need to double click to add uh, I, points there. There we go. And as you see, I can drag them around, uh, how happy or how sad it is. And that's how easy it is to create, to create an emotional curved lane. So there we have it. Uh, stages, customer activities, uh, research data, customer needs, and uh, easy uh, text uh, cards, and, and an emotional curve. Now that's how easy it is to create a basic structure of a customer journey map in Smappy. Of course, you can do much more, uh, but this should get you going really quickly. In the next video, I want to show you some of the more advanced features of Smappy that I think are super important if you want to use it on a day-to-day -day basis and also give my uh, conclusion and the pros and cons. So if you're interested in that, check out this video where we'll continue our walkthrough through Smappy. See you over here.